If you got your hands on the Samsung Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, or S24 Ultra, then listen carefully, because here are the top 10 best security tips and tricks you need to take a look at now. The first security feature I'm going to show you is something you should absolutely enable, as it may save yourself if you're ever in a dangerous situation. Open the settings on your Samsung Galaxy device. Scroll down and select Safety and Emergency. Choose Emergency SOS. Now what happens is, if you press on the power button five times, an emergency call will be proposed to you to call emergency services in your area as soon as you swipe up or not, depending on if you keep on require swipe to call. The emergency it will call can be edited under emergency number to call. Be sure to put your own, such as 112 in the UK and across Europe or 911 in the US. Also, think about this when traveling. Putting it the local emergency services could help tremendously if anything happens to you. Now, you will see at the bottom, send SOS to emergency contacts. Toggle this option on to enable it. To add emergency contacts who will be notified when you trigger the SOS, tap the add emergency contact button or the pluses icon. You can of course add multiple emergency contacts. Now, whenever in extreme situations, both the emergency services and your emergency contacts can be notified quickly. Now, if you're like me, you're unfortunately sometimes the target of spam calls, or maybe even worse, scam calls. Thankfully, Samsung has our back again. Go to the default phone app. Tap the three dots menu in the top right corner. Go to settings. Find and select caller ID and spam protection. Enable Haya as your spam call protection service. This service will help identify and block both spam and scam callers making your life a lot less annoying. Now, if you ever lost a phone, or if you fear losing yours at some point, having your stuff possibly seen by a stranger might give you galactic level anxiety. Here is a neat feature that should help a lot with that. Slide down on your home screen and hit settings. Scroll down to lock screen and always on display. Now hit secure lock settings. Note that you won't see the menu if you don't have any kind of locking for your phone activated. On this menu, you can see that both lock instantly with side button and lock network and security are both on, and you should keep these on. The neat feature here is the Auto Factory Reset 1, which once enabled, will launch a factory reset of your data after 20 incorrect attempts to unlock it, so no one will be able to plug your phone to a PC and extract your data from it. Now if you're ever in a situation when you fear someone might try to use your face or fingerprint to unlock your phone, you need to check out lockdown mode. Slide down on your home screen and hit settings. Scroll down to lock screen and always on display. Now hit secure lock settings. Turn on show lockdown option. You may need to enter your pin, pattern or password to confirm. Now press and hold the power button or swipe down from the top to access the power icon. If you activate lockdown mode, your face or fingerprints cannot be used to open your phone anymore, only your PIN. So if the person does not have it, your phone will stay locked. Now a feature made to protect yourself not from others, but from your own self in case you're used to listening to videos while driving or listening to loud music while walking and focusing on your audio experience rather than your own security. Swipe down and open your settings. Scroll down and select a digital well-being and parental controls. Scroll down within the digital well-being and parental controls settings until you find the following options. Driving monitor, walking monitor, and volume monitor. Driving monitor is designed to enhance your safety while driving. It activates when your phone connects to your car's Bluetooth system and helps you reduce distractions while driving by limiting certain phone activities or providing reminders to focus on the road. Walking Monitor aims to promote safe walking habits. It tracks your walking behavior while using your phone, helping you stay aware of your surroundings and avoid accidents. Volume Monitor helps you monitor the volume levels at which you listen to audio. It can be particularly useful to prevent hearing damage from listening at excessively high volumes. And don't you dare skip by this tip, because you know damn well you're pushing the audio way too loud sometimes. Once enabled, it will track your audio listening habits. You can of course customize the settings for each monitor as needed.
If you're afraid you'll be losing your phone at some point, then did you know that you could find it even if someone turns it off? Swipe down from the top of your screen and tap on the gear icon to access the settings. Scroll down to security and privacy. Tap on lost device protection. Tap on offline finding. Turn on the offline finding feature. With offline finding enabled, your Samsung Galaxy device can be located even if it's turned off. This feature utilizes nearby Samsung devices to help pinpoint the location of your device. If your device is lost, you can use the Find My Mobile service on the Samsung website to track its location. For added security, you can turn on encrypt offline location so your location data will require a PIN to be consulted. In addition to locating your own device, you can also use the offline finding feature to help others find their Samsung devices. To do this, make sure you are logged into your Samsung account on your device. If protecting your data against data-hungry corporations and power-hungry governments is important to you, swipe down and hit settings. Scroll down to security and privacy. Then scroll down against and hit more security settings. Of course, this is hidden behind multiple menus. Anyway, tap on enhanced data protection. You can now activate both encrypt backup data and encrypt synced data. It will require you to create a recovery code and to keep it safe. So now any backups of your device can only be reached by you. Also, the synced data option means any data you're synchronizing to other devices will also be protected. Now the Samsung keyboard clipboard when you need to copy and paste anything is great, but it keeps a history of everything you copy and know that website and apps can request access to it. So if you had something like a password copied, this might become a big security issue, especially if you end up installing an app that turned out to be malicious. In order to prevent that from happening, Open the settings on your Samsung device. Scroll down and select security and privacy. Scroll all the way to the bottom and tap additional privacy controls. The last option is alert when clipboard is accessed. Tap on to activate it. Once you've enabled this feature, your device will notify you whenever an app or website tries to access the clipboard, making it less likely that a security issue happens without you even knowing. That's it for the security side. Now let's discover some surprising features. If you want to hide any app you'd like for privacy or because you can't stand app that you cannot delete, this is how you do it. On your home screen, tap and hold on an empty area or pinch two fingers together on the screen and tap on settings. Now look at the bottom of the screen for hide apps on home and apps screen. From there, you can choose any apps to be hidden either from you or from anyone that will have access to your phone. Now, if you have sensitive documents or files to protect, you can use the secure folder feature from your Samsung device. The best way to use and access it is to slide down your quick access menu. Then hit the little pen icon. Tap on edit from the full tab. Scroll to the right on the available buttons tab until you find secure folder. Tap on it and then hit done. Back to your quick panel, press and hold on secure folder. When it's your first time launching it, it will require to accept things and to set up a password. Once it's done, go back to your home screen. Swipe down to see quick panel and tap on secure folder to enable it. Back to your home screen, swipe up to see your apps. Now tap on the secure folder app and now you can select all files from those app to add in your secure folder. If you use your fingerprints to secure your phone and you plan on using a screen protection, it might interfere with the readings, but there is a quick fix to that. Swipe up and tap on the gear icon to reach the settings. Scroll down to security and privacy. Tap on lock screen, then hit on fingerprints. From there, re-register your fingerprints with your screen protector on. That way, it will not interfere with the readings of your fingerprints ever again. If you stuck until now, then thank you and be prepared for what's coming now, because I'm going to show you how to unlock the most powerful features of your S Pen. And that's it for those 10 security tips and a bonus. Now, if you'd like more than 100 best tips and tricks to perfectly customize your S24, 
Then click on this video as I go in depth into unlocking everything this amazing device can deliver. Like and subscribe and see you there.